The Mini GPS Shield, a board designed to work with the Arduino Mini or Micro, is a teeny tiny version of the SparkFun GPS Logger Shield and includes everything you'll need to turn your Arduino into a position tracking, speed monitoring, altitude observing wonder logger. Just like its big brother, the Mini GPS Shield equips your Arduino Mini with access to a GPS module and micro SD memory card socket for data logging. The GPS module will stream constant position updates over a simple TTL level serial port, which you can then log onto a micro SD card or use for other purposes. The board also uses a level shifter, so there's no need to worry about the logic voltage of your Arduino Mini. Both 3.3 volts and 5 volts will work beautifully. Everything on this shield is highly configurable. A switch allows you to select the GPS module's UART interface between either hardware or software ports. The micro SD card operates over a hardware SPI port, which should be compatible with most Arduino layouts. To get started with the Mini GPS Shield, you will additionally need an Arduino Pro Mini, an FTDI Basic Programmer, a GP735 GPS module, a JST 1.75 inch jumper wire, female, male, and right angle headers, a USB Mini B cable, solder, and a soldering iron. First, we need to solder the headers to both the Arduino Pro Mini and the Mini GPS Shield. Then, snap the Mini GPS Shield on top of the Pro Mini, making sure the micro SD socket is pointing towards the bottom of the Mini. Then, connect the GP735 to the GPS Shield using the JST jumper wire. Finally, Connect the FTDI programmer to your Arduino Pro Mini and use the USB Mini B cable to connect to your computer. Now let's take a look at the software. In order to receive data from the Mini GPS Shield, we need to install a library called Tiny GPS++ that parses the GPS message. A link to this library is provided in the hookup guide. With the library installed, we can use the code provided in the hookup guide to ensure we're able to get a signal from the satellites and to begin logging data onto our micro SD card. You'll need to move towards the window or outside to get a clear reading from the satellite. The better view the GPS module has of the sky, the better chance it'll have of getting a reading from the four satellites it needs. Acquiring the first position reading usually takes around 30 seconds or longer. For this reason, we have included an LED attached to pin 7 that illuminates when you get your first position. The mini GPS shield is a great way to reduce the circuit size of any GPS project. Check out the alphanumeric GPS wall clock or the GPS speedometer on our website for project inspiration. Are you planning something fun with your mini GPS shield? Share with us on Twitter and in the comments below. Bye!